my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This thing was sliding all over the place. Kind of turning into a crazy day guys i got walter up in uh, saluda right now i don't usually go that far but i'll give him some work and uh i gotta go to four city then i gotta go up to union mills it's getting busy and it's the middle of winter i don't understand it i gotta get another gopro mount to hook this to the dash i'm holding my hand now so going to a jack call where I guess the uh, per the people said that they called LCI and they said the pump's bad, but everything's lit up on his control board. Like everything's lit up, and it won't go out. I don't. I, it doesn't sound like a bad pump to me. It sounds like a control board or a bad fuse or something's not right. And I tell you what, these people every time I pull out here, you got to floor it because these people are just doing about 80 and a 45. Stupid. Uh, still looking for a building guys and uh, we'll be looking for a while You know, I mean if we can't build I mean if we can't buy then I'm gonna have to build But I'm watching the economy. It's getting me a little concerned right now All the super wealthy super rich very smart people are telling that it's gonna crash hard. Don't do anything right now Ross Don't do anything. Don't catch a falling knife So I listened to someone when I bought when we bought our house in Florida and we made over a hundred thousand dollars. This just listening to someone in four years made a hundred grand just on the um, appreciation of the house. So I don't know. We're not moving from here, but I really think that if I hold off a little longer, I can find a really good shop. I'm talking not a shop. I'm talking a warehouse, big warehouse, thirty foot ceilings, fourteen by fourteen doors. I'm talking monsters. So we don't have to keep any of the, I don't want to keep any of the RVs outside. I want to keep most of the ones that we're working on indoors. So it's a less responsibility getting stolen, wrecked. And you can keep your tools out. It's a lot easier to deal with, you know, work in the rain. So I got a couple guys now, which are pretty good. Um, I got a guy in Saluda right now, but I got to go. I only got eight minutes to this call, so. I'll run the camera in this call. I'll troubleshoot these jacks. Probably not gonna be an easy troubleshoot, but gotta do what you gotta do. Sounds like she got some power. Yeah, Holy new, smokes! This is that new V8. Yeah. With the uh, five, I can't remember the meters it is now, but it uh, sounds tough. It's a hoss. It's 350 horsepower and like 460 foot pounds of torque. Holy cow. I, I've driven this thing up to Saluda grade, pulling my Jeep at 60 miles an hour with no problem. Wow. They're up in the... Yeah, these things are always dogs, so they're up in it. Yeah, this one's not. <clears throat> 14 two, nine here. Okay. I thought about just unplugging this entire thing and then plugging it back in. But I didn't do it because I didn't want to get... In. I ain't gonna hurt nothing. Didn't want to screw it up. Sounds like a sounds like a bad ground. Sounds like a ground short now. It sounds like a short to me. I rarely see that. So that tells me it, it might not be a problem with the pump or the solenoid or the control panel because it sounds like a short, like a wire shorted. picked it up brought it home from florida okay uh after they had to work on the slide that brought up the slide and then it happened yeah oh man brand new rv freaking things corroded bad wow the batteries are all like corroded i mean really bad look at that was making a connection under there but look at the top it was not 
Wow, why is that so bad? Kind of weird. Something this new. Well, new doesn't necessarily mean built correctly. No, it doesn't. I learned that too. Uh, Sometimes they do. Yeah, they, they covered it because I'd already had an issue with it prior to the 12, to the 12 months of it. Good thing you reported it in. Yep. And, uh, that, that gets kind of expensive. I work on more newer ones than older ones because well, of that problem. Well, the older ones, they got most of that stuff fixed by now. Yeah, they went through it. <laughs> All right, checking the voltage again. That nice pin. Uh-huh. We got, with everything running, we got 14.17. Okay. And then how much do you have? <clears throat> there should be like a two-wire harness that's six pin. Yeah, I got it. Yep. Okay. How much you got here? Let me check. On this one, would it run? We got 14.5. Jumping from 14.48 to 14.5. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And the touchpad is still just all lights on, correct? All lights on, yep. Well, wait a okay. minute. So it's on plug now. Yeah, there's a four pin. I see it. Yep. Okay, so that four pin is going to be for the touchpad. Okay. If all the lights are still stuck on, we need to go ahead and test across from green as ground and then red first. Okay, it's unplugged. Can you, there's wire, on the back of my doors, there's wire ties. Can you give me a wire tie? Because this is hanging right in your muffler. Okay. It's not burnt though. I just want to do it while I'm under here. Gosh, I had these wires hanging down in here by the, by the drive shaft. Golly. They're just hanging down because they took, ripped out a ton of wiring. The, the control board's good, the screen's good, the touchpad's good, the pump's good. Troubleshoot all that. It's something with the house wiring, bad ground or something's hitting a positive or something blowing a fuse. So now we got to check all the wiring throughout the RV, which is not an easy task. But I'm going to start with pulling the main control board out panel where the switches are. Sometimes they screw up there and something touches. But what a nightmare. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, this is absolutely crazy what I'm doing. We're going to try it. Going through the mud. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This thing was sliding all over the place. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do to get up the hill. It just rained, guys. I don't even know if I'm going to make it. Slipping, it's slipping, it's slipping, go! Just made it. Oh my Jesus. Oh, I probably should have let it idle a little bit. Oh my gosh. Okay, just to show you how much I was spinning. <laughs> the tires. I just came from up there, freaking mud everywhere. It's a big hill too. I did not think I'd make it, but I did. Okay, we're gonna make sure we have these valves. This place is always just so muddy, guys. I hate it. Then I gotta wash everything. <clears throat> ah, I don't think I have these valves. Oh god. This place, man, every time I come here, it's freaking mud everywhere. Look at guys, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, do you want me to replace one toilet? One put two valves in. Ugh. Freaking walk, everything's a walk. All right, run off the bumper. Right. Bring uh, the pinch rings, valves, these. I'm putting a toilet in here, put a valve in too. Hopefully I can. Whew, water's everywhere, guys. What a mess. Mud, water, you name it. That's here. 
I'm just gonna cut from here. That's a very little because we gotta have enough for this to go in, see? So I can't take much out of there at all. You wanna pinch ring this stuff as much as you can, not hooked up. A lot easier, guys. That might work, hopefully. Let's been trying this. Right there. I'm gonna do two of these. Two toilets, and I'm getting tired. Okay, I put a nice brass valve down there, it's not leaking. Let's see what we got here. This is good. It's so crooked. Just have to loosen it up. Everything looks good. I don't see me dripping. Yeah, okay, it looks good. Alright. What are you doing, guys? What are you sniffing? You putting your whole sniffers right through the hole now? <laughs> Come on, make some noise. Look at their little What are you doing? <laughs> That's funny. They got a nice, they got like a mansion in there. Okay, guys, I just took the ambulance to the car wash, kind of. I did one of those power wash things for three bucks. Got all the mud off my tires, wheel wells, everything. And I took all the trash out of the ambulance and stuff, so that's good. I just can't stand being full of mud everywhere. It's not the job, it's not the kind of work we do. White Side Road. Nah, I ain't taking a left. I'll go straight. But I might hit a couple sets at uh, the old Planet Fitness real quick. Continue on Whiteside Road for seven miles. A couple uh, Take quick. Take the next right onto North Street, then turn right onto Allen Street. Stop saying the address is GPS. You're giving my location up to the Ubers. The Uber YouTubers. Better shut this thing off so you don't guys know where I'm at. Then you come haunt me. All right. Oh, I'm not. I'm gonna record that. Who cares? Uh, you know what? I really don't care. I'm not one of those paranoid guys that paranoid about everything. And I don't care. 90% of the things don't happen. 100% almost most don't happen. 99.9%, .9%, so. <clears throat> You'll live longer if you don't care as much. Now I do care, don't get me wrong. I do the job right, I do everything right, but I don't lose sleep. So if you're self-employed and you lose sleep, don't be self-employed. Get a job. You have to blank it out. When you go home, I don't even know what calls I have tomorrow because I don't even check because I don't want to know. Not that I don't want to go, I just don't want to know because then I'm thinking about them all night. So that keeps me from thinking about them. I don't even look at the calendar. Now I'll get up early in the morning and hustle. I'll get all the parts ready for what I think and I'll get stuff ready. But you know, as of worrying about the job, I'm not gonna worry. I think that was a cop. And I got all my lights on in here. And if they say, oh, you take toilets, I said, nah, I don't take toilets. I take everything else but toilets because they're kind of dirty and so so that's the deal on that won't take a toilet you know I, I mean there's literally I will take a toilet for a $30 drop a fee to get rid of it otherwise I'm not taking it 30 bucks to take a toilet <clears throat> it sounds kind of high but listen that prevents me from taking toilets and I don't want to it's nasty I'll take refrigerators I'll take air conditioners, take water heaters. I don't mind taking that, but toilets I don't take. Refrigerators sometimes I take. If they're good, I can use the parts off them. But like, I have a lot of used parts too. There's a lot of people that do this RV business. They don't believe in used parts, but I do because it's literally, if you get the part for free, it's 100% markup and you can give a huge discount to the customer. So, but I can't, I don't warranty used parts, only new. So, I don't know. Got. I put two valves in in that last job in the toilet. Uh, Walt went on a job. He did pretty good. Uh, we got to go back, put an underbelly up. We got more work from this guy, this, which is pretty cool. And uh, so Walt did good on that. And I couldn't have gone up there. I just didn't have time. I got stuck in that other call. Man, I got stuck in that freaking jack call. We're going to replace the board. I checked all the wiring. Everything's good. We're going to replace the board. Even though we tested it, 
They say the board's good. I don't trust it. Uh, something's going on with that board. Um, I'm going to Google a little bit more when I get home. I'm trying to teach you as much as I can on the road in these videos so you can do stuff yourself. And, um, and if you have an RV problem, just refer back to my videos. Type in toilet, type in this, type in water heater, and usually I have a fix for that. So just go through the old channel and type in the search. And don't forget to hit the notification bell because I'm putting videos out every day now. And it's really hard to do a lot of editing, so hit that notification bell. See you guys, love y'all, and thank you so much for the awesome feedback in the comment section. And we need some more comments. I want to get like 50 comments on this video. So I'll leave a comment and just put, I'm just leaving a comment if you want. So like and share the video. See ya.